Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, good afternoon everybody. Lee, Godbold, Junk Removal Authority. Visit us at junkremovalauthority.com. Uh, helping a guy out, trying to help a guy out uh, in California. Just got off the phone with him who uh, just got contacted for a rush job. The, this particular customer has got 13, what he, they estimate to be 1,300 cubic yards of dirt. And they want an estimate signed within an hour. So a couple, couple things here. One, always be careful with the estimate signed within one hour because there's a lot of contractors out there that will try and do that and, and catch somebody. A lot of the reasons they're doing it within one hour is because they want to put pressure on somebody to go ahead and, and, and see uh, what kind of price. You know, they, 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 they kind of get you, uh, get you um, anticipating that going ahead and getting this job and say, hey, you know, within an hour I could have this job or, you know, somebody else is going to get a bid in within an hour and I'm going to miss out on it. So they'll, they can get you where you actually make some mistakes. You should definitely charge a little extra, and he knows this, he's doing this, charge a little extra for a rush job like this because there is some danger involved in it, and you still might not want to put a bid on it if you don't know your game and you don't know what it's going to cost. So that's one of the things I want to be clear uh, with you right now is some of this stuff you need to think about some odd jobs you're going to have that come up and you need to already have uh, plans in place and you already need to know pricing on it because sometimes you will find a customer that needs something done really quick you need to already have the stuff figured out where you're not having to take a bunch of time or risk making mistake risk forgetting something uh, and and missing out on this so dirt removal jobs um with dirt removal and large amounts of dirt removal, I'm not talking a couple trash cans full or something like that. You know, that you can handle in your truck. What I'm talking about is like uh, freaking just hundreds of yards, or in this case, over a thousand yards of dirt. You need to have, um, already have some contacts and a plan in place on what are you gonna do when you get this type of, of dirt removal job. So number one, your best friend on this type of job is a driver, an owner operator of a tri-axle dump truck. And uh, it's not gonna be a large company probably, it's probably gonna be an individual out there where he's the driver and he's the, the, the owner of a particular truck. And you need it, and these guys are hard to find. They have absolutely no web presence at all. That's the reason you yourself gotta call in the first place uh, to do this type of job is because whoever was hiring looking to hire a, a, a dump truck driver to move this dirt, they couldn't find them online. So they found you because junk removal companies do an excellent job at having a web presence, whereas your typical haulers, your typical triaxle dump truck operators do not. Your typical trucking companies don't. So the way a tip most triaxle dump truck uh, operators charge is going to be an hourly rate plus the cost of disposal. So typically you'll pay the cost of disposal all you're going to do is pay him an hourly rate, and it tip, that hourly rate typically tar, starts when he leaves his shop or his house in the morning with that truck to when he returns to his shop or his house at night. That's the full hourly rate. Um, the going rate retail around North Carolina is somewhere around $90 an hour. Uh, we normally, we can, we've got a guy that we're, we bring enough work to him, and we kind of were able to work out a deal at about $70 an hour. So to get to the going rate, we still, even at the going rate, we've got a $20 an hour markup on just the hourly, uh, the hourly rate for a dump truck driver. And we, normally you can mark it up more than that because again, the 90 an hour rate, that's what a lot of contractors are getting. That's what a lot of construction companies are getting that know about these guys. Uh, homeowners, ain't gonna, they're not going to be able to find them. You know, a lot of property, a lot of companies are not going to be able to find these guys. So you might even be able to get $10, $20 an hour more than that. You might be able to get $110 an hour. Charge, you're paying the dump truck hour, 70, driver 70 an hour, you're, and you're charging the customer 110 an hour. Very well possible for you to do that. But you got to have that plan in place. you got to know what uh, the guy's going to charge you. You also need to know his turnaround time, his schedule. Um, you need to be able to – it needs to be somebody you can get in touch with pretty easily. Some of these guys, it's hard to get up with. It needs to be somebody you can shoot a message, and they're going to reply back, or you can call them, and they're going to pick up. Um, you've got to have your stuff right when it comes to your vendor here. And you might want to have a couple of these guys. You might want to find at least two just in case one of them decides he's taking a vacation, quits, uh, gets lazy, you know, truck drivers. Uh, you know, just uh, truck drivers are that way. So having a backup in place is, uh, is definitely a necessity. All right, so you take care of your truck driver. You take care of your triaxle dump and you take care of your triaxle dump driver. The next thing you need to think about um, is going to be how much dirt you have. So in this case, he's, he's got 1,300 yards of dirt. That means that's 1,300 tons because one cubic yard of dirt 
equals one ton. That's 2,000 pounds. Now, that is if it's dry. Wet dirt, can you can, you can double the, the weight of dirt uh, if, it, if it's got water in it, if it retains water. For the most part, you will not do dirt hauling if it's wet. Um, if you are doing it when it's wet, you've got to charge tre a, a, a tremendous amount more. So if it's rained in your area within the last couple of days, let the dirt dry. Let it dry out before you haul it. Otherwise, your costs are going to go way up because you're not going to be able to load the truck with as much dirt. Your disposal fees could go up as well. So the next thing you do need to figure is going to be your disposal fees. So you might be able to find somebody that'll take dirt as fill dirt. But again, this is something you need in place because a lot of these jobs, you're not going to be able to... Uh, take days to try and find this stuff. So, I mean, this needs to be something you're working on before the job even comes to you, is find somebody that's looking for fill dirt that you know you can take the stuff to. Uh, the other option is a lot of, as landfills will, will accept dirt, the majority of them, um, because they use it. And, but, you know, they're normally gonna charge you. Some landfills will charge you per ton. You will get, I mean, that's when your costs skyrocket is if you, if you have to dump per ton. Uh, there are a lot of landfills that will charge you per load. So, whether you bring a triaxle dump truck through or you bring a trailer through of dirt, they might charge you 50 bucks a load or 100 bucks a load, whatever that rate is. And you can then in turn figure what your disposal rates are. So, you know, um, uh, each dump truck, each tri triaxle dump truck can hold about 25 tons. So that means it can hold about 25 cubic yards of dirt. On average, some people might push it, push it a little bit more. But when you're figuring your estimate, figure it at 25 tons of dry dirt. So this 1,300 yards, um, he's got 1,300 yards. Let's divide that out by 25 tons because it's just 1,300 tons. So it's coming up at 52 truckloads of dirt. I would probably even jack this up a little. So if I were to quote this job, I'd probably figure it's going to take 60 triaxial dump truck loads of dirt, just in case a little of that dirt's moist or there's some cost overruns or whatever. So if I'm bidding this job beforehand, that's what I'm, I'm going to do um, uh, for certain. Okay, so you've got that uh, going on. Now you need to know, you need to know the time to your landfill because again, your, your, your dump truck driver's paid hourly, so you need to know the time to landfill. You want to factor in how much time it's going to take you uh, to load everything, how much time it's going to take him to dump at the landfill, and how much time it's going to take to co come back. And then, you know, he's going to take an hour lunch break. I ain't never seen a truck driver yet that ain't going to take an hour lunch break. So he'll take an hour lunch break in between. you got to make sure you factor that time in as, in as well. Um, one of the final things that you're going to need to uh, determine is uh, you're going to need to get a loader. So uh, these guys, most of these dump truck drivers, they're not going to provide a loader. You're going to need to provide one, and you're going to need to provide an operator too. Most dump truck drivers, they're going to sit in that cab that entire time. If that, thing, if that air conditioning works, they're going to be run, running that air conditioning, sitting in the cab while you load them. Then when you're done, you're going to signal to them. They're going to head on out. They're going to go dump. They're going to dump, still sitting in that cab in that air conditioning. They're going to come back, back in at the job site, and they're going to still be in that cab in that air conditioning. So um, you're going to have to take care of, of, getting, of renting a, a loader, and also of loading everything up, um, you know, loading the uh, loading the truck up. And don't forget about the height. You need to make sure whatever loader you get, um, you're able to have enough height to uh, load load the load the truck. Otherwise, uh, you know, you're you're not going to be able to go over the sidewalls, and you're not going to be able to fill that thing up to capacity. So, the big, uh, the most important thing to take from this video is this has got to be done beforehand. You don't want to wait until you're it's time for you to book one to do one of these jobs. You want to know this information beforehand. Comes back to you got to know your game. You got to know what's going on. You got to be on top of your shit if you're going to get jobs like this and if you're going to do well in this business. And that means planning any scenario that you might encounter in advance so you know what the hell you're talking about when somebody calls you about this type of job and you know how to to. Uh, uh, you know how to get it done. Uh, this is a common thing. A lot of people, a lot of people don't think about this type of job till they get it. I'm here telling you right now, you boy LG over with Junk Removal Authority, we're getting you straight. We're telling you exactly what you need to do. Pay attention to this. And as soon as you stop watching this video, get working to figure out that information so you're not going to be uh, caught by surprise and not you're going to look like a damn idiot when somebody contacts you. Guys, you can always uh, reach us at 919-617-1975. Check us out at junkarray.com. Hey, we've got an awesome piece. At, at least a, it's going to be a series, at least 10 
part, at least a 10 part series on advertising, on different advertising methods, Home Advisor, Groupon, Google Pay Per Click, Search Engine Optimization, Radio, TV, Print. We're gonna cover it all. If there's a way of getting exposure, we're gonna cover it in an extended advertising series. It's gonna be part articles on junkremovalauthority.com. It's gonna be part videos hosted on YouTube. It's gonna be 100% great information. Check it out today. Always call us. We're here for all of your search engine optimization, your Google ad uh, pay-per-click management, building websites, and training you up with our business package. We're always here for you. We're here to help. Junkremovalauthority.com. We'll be back before we know it. Thanks, guys.